Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. I'm Kevin Shea, joined alongside by the head coach of the Lady Crusaders, Bill Gibbons. And, uh, Coach, since we last talked, uh, one and three record, three tough losses. You, you lose to Brown, a very good Brown team, whose only loss is to a top 20 team in Cal. You lose to Albany, a team that's at the top of their division. Uh, you lose to Boston College in a game that we broadcast, and then you beat Vermont here at home. Your thoughts on the on the four games? Yeah, uh, I thought Brown. We played an excellent game, 82-78. One of the best college basketball games I've been involved in. Everyone that uh, was there said it was a great game, and uh, they just made a couple more hoops at the end. But we played very well, and we scored the basketball and, and got some good, uh, just you know, real good game on the road. Albany receiving top 25 votes, ranked in the mid-major, uh, won their conference and, and, and play a funky defense. And I thought we played very well against them right there. It's a, a two-possession game with a minute left and, and lose by six or eight. And then the BC game, which you did, I thought we took, we didn't play as well as we had in Brown and Albany in the BC game, unfortunately, Kevin. There was that one stretch where they got a six-point lead in the second half, third quarter, and then we just couldn't get it under four. And and uh, and lost by six or eight. So we needed to bounce back with a win against Vermont uh, going into finals. Uh, and it was a Vermont team that really needed a win. And it was a tooth and nail game here. In the final 14 minutes, we've played our best basketball that we've played in this stretch and pulled away and outscored them by 15 points. Uh, we were down four and we won by 11 in the last 14. So I saw some positives there. I think we're finding our identity. We're getting some kids healthy. Amy, Amy Hasenhauer is back, which will strengthen our front court. And I like the direction we're moving in. Uh, and it was history with uh, Infinity Thomas Wahid, the oh, UVM right. game, getting right. her 1,000th career point, joining an elite, an elite club. Uh, how special is that for you as a coach? to see, and you've seen so many of your players reach that milestone, but how special is that? Yeah, it's really special. She's the 33rd player in our uh, history of our program, but it's just a, a tremendous accomplishment. And I told her mother afterwards, how, how not only has she grown as a player to get to that point, but more importantly, she's grown as a young lady and as a leader. And, and that gave me a lot of satisfaction. That's what I told Infinity after. But she needed 12. Everyone knew she needed 12. Right. It was that big weight. And then she got that 12 point. Lauren went over and hugged her actually in transition, which was cute and, and symbolized this team. But uh, <laughs> we ended up get, getting beat or Lauren fouled down the other end. But uh, after that, uh, Infinity went on to score 12 more points in the, that final 14 minutes and really played with a lot of confidence. So hopefully going forward now, uh, she can catapult that. Now in the Boston College game, we saw Megan Soares play a lot of minutes mm. for you. Uh, she didn't play a lot in the UVM game. But she played a lot for you in that Boston College game. You've talked about her in each of our shows about how she is going to be a key for this team. If you're to make a big run, if you're to get to the, the Patriot League championship, that you need her to be a factor. What did you see in the BC game and how encouraged were you just to see her log as many minutes as she did coming off that knee injury? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, first of all, she wasn't supposed to be back till the Patriot League, so she's ahead of schedule and Alicia Caswell, newly engaged Alicia, congratulations Alicia, uh, over the weekend after the Vermont game, has done a great job um, w getting Megan back. But we talked at our staff meeting yesterday, Kev. She can run the floor, she can rebound. She just learns to get polished and slow down a little offensively. She's going to be a force in the league. So the BC game, we needed her. The Albany game, she started to match up with them. Uh, there's going to be some games where she's going to get more minutes that we need to go big. Uh, in some games, she won't get as many minutes. We went with the small lineup, and Janae Faulkner, our freshman, played the up front and had a great game in the Vermont game. But she is going to be a factor, along with Amy Hasenhauer. Keep your eye on Amy. She's a girl coming off a shoulder that right. just got cleared. Again, Alicia did a great job with her, and she'll get some minutes in the URI game. Both of those kids are going to help us as we move forward into the Patriot League. All right, we're going to take a short time out, and we'll be back with plenty more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show right after this. Bay State Savings Bank brings you... Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you do anyway. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for Casasa by name at Bay State 
Savings Bank, proud sponsor of the Friday Night Football Frenzy. What you said, Wine and Spirits, where you'll shop in comfort one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. What staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit whatchusetliquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12 West Boylston, across from the manor. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek Tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. O'Connor's Restaurant and Bar, 1160 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Welcome to the Compass Tavern. At the Compass, we offer a delicious menu featuring the best American style and New England dishes made from scratch in our kitchen. Whether it's lunch, dinner, or special celebrations, the Compass Tavern is the place to go. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Coach, we'll get into uh, some, of the, some of the individuals on the team, some of the philosophies on the team. First with, um, with Lauren Manish, your leading scorer. Two off nights for her shooting recently, the Boston College game and the UVM game. What do you attribute those to, and, and how do you get her back on track? Yeah, well, it, I think the BC game was the fact that the, those were ACC big, strong players. Uh, had something to do with it, and she was... She was amped up for that game, obviously, being a, a Massachusetts kid and, right. and uh, the whole BC thing. And, and she didn't shoot the ball well, but she still rebounded. And then the Vermont game, th their emphasis was to stop Lauren. They, they doubled her on every touch. And I thought she did a real nice job, and I mentioned this in the locker room after Kev, of not forcing it. And, you know, I think she only took uh, nine shots in that game, which is uh, subpar. She had nine points, but she had 12 rebounds, and she had four assists. Right. So she didn't force, and you know she would much rather have us win and 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 have other guys. You know, I think we had four players with nine or more points, yeah. um, than her get her to her twenty and and us lose. So uh, she's getting more maturity that way. She stayed out of foul trouble uh, in both games, which is going to be a key to oh, us because gotcha. we're going to need her down the stretch. But I think she'll be fine. I think she was a little amped up for BC and then her mom's alma mater, right. Vermont. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think she'll be fine uh, these two uh, last non-conference games and moving into the league. And you talked about BC and going up, her going up against these ACC, whether it's a, a power forward or a center. center right. Uh, and you and I talked before the game, and that's where you kind of brought up the need for a Megan Swords or, or Amy Hasenauer mm -hmm. or whoever it is to, to Miranda Nixon to step in, give you minutes at the center position right. to physically take the load off of Lauren right. Manis, so she doesn't have to bang with the right, bigs. Right, be that five, and, right. Yeah, and, right. and kind of expend so much energy right. in the trenches, so to speak. Exactly, because that's going to weigh out a lot more than, right. you know, if you're going against a 6'3 girl that's, that's banging you all the time or you're the primary rebounder. Right. I always say with Megan or Miranda or anyone else, even if they don't get the rebound, they're, you know, mixing it up with someone else, and now that lets Lauren get the rebound or Infinity or Janae. So, right. you know, people don't know that. Uh, George Blaney always talked about that that workhorse inside that freed things up for the other guys yeah. to, to, to get it. So uh, I think that's key. And now Amy even can, can play a little uh, five spot to move Lauren to the four, you know. Right. So we we'll, could start that lineup with four guards where, you know, we're, we're having Lauren face up and go by people. But eventually we don't want her banging inside all the right. time. Uh, th that's a good point. But I think now with our health, we'll have a little flexibility to be able to free her up to play the four. And rebounding, you, you and I have talked about this for years. You've always said when we rebound, we win. No question. Um, in, in, the, in this four-game stretch, the couple games you lost, 
you were out rebounded in it. How much do you work on that in practice? How much is that a point of emphasis? And and what are the keys to being a good rebounder? Yeah, I think it's mentality. Togo Palazzi. I was just going to say, yeah, Togo was going to say, do you bring Togo back uh, to practice? He's supposed to come back. He says uh, you take 100 shots in the game. You, if you shoot 40%, that's great. So that's 60 shots that are missed, Billy. 60 shots. Who's going to get those 60 opportunities? Right. Whoever wants it the most. And right. Ada, I, I send the girls a quote now every night at 8.43. My alarm goes off and Lisa says, oh, time for the quote. You know, uh -huh. you gotta, but I've best been doing, and my one the other day was Adolph Rupp, the great Kentucky oh, yeah. coach. The team that controls the boards controls the game. And I believe Togo says all the time that all of his points came off of uh, missed shots from Father Markey. He that's says, right. Father that's Markey, right. Earl Markey. Those were like goes, passes to him. Says, Those said, that's how I scored. No one passed me the ball. I just I got an offensive able. rebound and, and went right. back up. So that's how, that's how Togo made his mark and, and a great mark on this program. All right. We're going to take another time out. Plenty more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show coming your way right after this. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. The Bagel Inn, 785 Main Street, Route 122A in Holden. Open daily at 5.30 a.m. The Fix Burger Bar, handmade burgers, elixirs, and shakes for whatever ails you. Chick-fil-A in Worcester proudly supports the Holy Cross women's basketball team. Come on down to our brand new location at 80 Gold Star Boulevard in Worcester. Mark Bernier is your Worcester area Edward Jones financial advisor. Whether you're planning for retirement, college, or protecting your financial future, give Mark a call at 508-755-1213. Bay State Savings Bank brings you... Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you do anyway. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for Casasa by name at Bay State Savings Bank. Proud sponsor of the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Sullivan Group is an insurance and risk management services firm based in Worcester for over 60 years. With the tremendous growth of life sciences both globally and locally, we've dedicated our resources to build a strong, knowledgeable and responsive team to meet the insurance and risk management needs of this dynamic industry. Our personal lines team will make sure your home, your car, your personal belongings and most importantly your family are protected. The Sullivan Group has the resources, the carriers and the coverage to protect you and your business. Welcome to a new segment of our show called My Favorite Places on Campus. In this segment, we'll go around campus to some of my special places on campus, and we start with the St. Joseph's Memorial Chapel and the Mary Chapel and downstairs. So let's go inside. Downstairs is the non-denominational chapel at multi-use that have had many uh, different services here, beautiful, finished about eight or nine years ago, and uh, just a beautiful chapel for, for people to grow uh, spiritually. And finally, the Mary Chapel, Catholic Chapel, where the 1205 noontime Catholic Mass is celebrated every day that I try to attend. I think it's important that we tell our student athletes, no matter what uh, religious uh, affiliation they have, to try to grow, not only academically, not only athletically, but to go grow spiritually while they're at the college. And this is something that I try to preach to them uh, and live by. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by Mary Perrin, one of the managers of the Holy Cross women's basketball team. And uh, Mary, first, Coach Gibbons recruiting you at your brother's graduation party. Yeah. So uh, my brothers have played basketball with Coach Gibbons' sons for a while, and so I kind of knew their family. and. They showed up to my brother's graduation party and I had said how I wanted to be involved in athletics in college because I knew I wasn't going to be playing here. And he said, I'm looking for a manager. Our manager just graduated. So it kind of worked out perfectly. So 
And what has it been like for you four years uh, being being the manager of the team here, working with Coach Gibbons, working with the whole staff? It's been great. I mean, it's it's awesome to be part of the team, and it's really like been important to me to have that. And um, I've actually lived with two of the captains on the team right now, Katie and Infinity, have both been my roommates, and the other manager, Natalie. We've all lived together, so that's kind of great too. And it's kind of it was nice coming into college already having like built-in friends that I knew I was gonna have throughout my four years here. So. And Coach, I know, has all of the recruits. Whenever a recruit is coming up on campus, he has them meet you and, and you get to you talk to them. How important, I know it's very important for him. He's told me it's very important for, for all the recruits to meet you. But how important is that for you? And, and what does that feel like to kind of almost have that responsibility, you know? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I, I think it's unique that we get to give them kind of a different perspective. And we get to, um, like, it's nice that uh, Natalie and I are kind of an outlet for them. We're not their teammate. So if they do want to come and talk about different things that they wouldn't really want to share with their teammate, like if they're frustrated with playing time or they're frustrated with a teammate who did something, like something on the court, um, Natalie and I don't really have any care about that right, stuff. So right. it's, I think it's kind of nice that they have us as an outlet for those types of things. So. So you're an extension, in some ways, an extension of the staff, but you have to be kind of like part psychologist, yeah. part coach, <laughs> part uh, Oprah Winfrey, yeah, yeah. if you will. Um, <laughs> coming from a big family, I'm sure, for you, it, it might come naturally. You have three brothers and a, and a sister. There's five of you. You're the youngest. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure dealing with different personalities and stuff mm -hmm. is something you always did grow yeah, up. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, especially, I mean, all of my siblings were three sport athletes in high school and um, three of them went on to play in college so sports and that type of talk has always been around my life so yeah what was it like too growing up uh, in your house with your three brothers and your older sister as well. You're the youngest, yeah. and as you said, they all played sports. And uh, what was it? What was it like at the house? I'm sure it was kind of chaotic with yeah, five kids. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, I remember driving to practices for them, and it was nice. Uh, my three siblings that played in college all played in Worcester, so we were able to go to all of their games, which I remember spending hours um, at the baseball field um, for my brother Matt, who played baseball here. It's just nice to be able to have that as a part of my life, and yeah. <laughs> and then now being a senior and, and now you start to think about, you know, uh, graduating, you start mm -hmm. to think about doing interviews, job interviews and stuff. Practically, too, this is, this is practical experience. Being a manager is something that, you know, everyone's looking for an edge when you're interviewing mm -hmm. and you don't know who you're up against the pool of candidates. But, but this may give you an edge, too, working with a team like you have for four years. Just talk about what you've gained from that and, and kind of how you can use that to your advantage in an interview. Yeah, well, I think that, um, first of all, that fine line we were talking about between being like part of the staff and part of the team, like you have to know when your role is and that type of thing. And also, I think it's really been like a commitment and hard work. So that has been something that I'll definitely take with me when I graduate. All right, Mary, thanks for joining us and best of luck. Thank you. That's Mary Perrin. We'll be back with more right after this. Sullivan Group is an insurance and risk management services firm based in Worcester for over 60 years. Our company values, our family values. Committed to our clients and finding them the best solutions. Committed to being independent. Committed to our community. We live here, we work here, we volunteer here. The Sullivan Insurance Group. Committed to excellence. Bay State Savings Bank brings you Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you do anyway. That's free Kasasa checking. Ask for Kasasa by name at Bay State Savings Bank. Proud sponsor of the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Before or after the Crusaders hit the court, come on down to Bentley Pub in Auburn, Route 12, near the junction of the Mass Pike. Visit us online at BentleyPub.com. Providing our customers with the highest level of quality, service, and value. Poochie's Fine Jewelry, 205 West Boylston Street in West Boylston. New Tech Design is a proud supporter of Holy Cross Women's Basketball. Custom printing, embroidery, promotional items, and more. Visit us online at newtechdesigngroup.com. City Trophy, conveniently located at 32 Auburn Street in Auburn. 
Hi, I'm Rocco DiVerti, owner of Enchanted Fireside, Worcester, Massachusetts. Enchanted Fireside is a hearth product store. We sell gas burning, wood burning, and pellet burning stoves, fireplaces, and inserts. We help you with designs, we do the full installations, and we do service should you need it down the road. Our management sales and service staff are certified by the National Fireplace Institute in wood burning products, gas, and pellet burning products. Come and visit us at Enchanted Fireside, 728 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Welcome back, everyone. Joining me now is Natalie Serluzniak, one of the managers for the Holy Cross women's basketball team. And uh, Natalie, being from Medfield, first, uh, how nice is it to go to school close to home and to be working with a team where, you know, your friends and your family can come up and see you? Yeah, it's definitely been nice. I mean, I remember going into senior year of high school, I was deciding between here and University of Richmond. So very different, north versus south. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, I decided to come to school closer to home. Um, I see my parents probably one, at least once a month. Um, and they definitely make it out to the game, so it's been really nice. And you played volleyball in high school. How much does that help you uh, when you're working here with the, with the women's basketball team? Yeah, so I know how, what it's like to be on a team, obviously. I also played basketball up until my sophomore year of high school. Um, so I think just bringing those teamwork skills, I guess you could call them, to here, it's been a really easy transition, and it's really nice to be part of a team. And what are, what are some of your responsibilities or, or daily duties, so to speak? So for Mary and I, we both come to every practice and every game, home and away, travel with the team. Um, we prepare the benches for all the games. We prepare the waters for before practice. Um, it's really just everything that people wonder who does that. Right. That's what we're doing. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's all worth it. Right, and it doesn't just magically appear that everything's set up exactly where the coaches want exactly. it and, and ready to go. You had a chance to travel abroad uh, and, and go to Spain for a semester. Mm -hmm. What was that like, and what kind of perspective uh, did that give you, global perspective? Yeah, um, I studied abroad in Palma de Mallorca, Spain, my fall semester, junior year. Um, it was about six months, but it was fully immersive. I lived with a Spanish host mother. She didn't speak any English. All my classes were in Spanish, so that was amazing. I mean, I definitely became fluent and um, definitely widened my perspective, and it was great to bring that back here to Holy Cross. And what was it like culture-wise? You know, obviously, it's, it's, you're thrown right into it, as you said, living with a family there. But then even going out, whether it was to, uh, to the discotheque, as they say, mm -hmm. in Barcelona, the yep. discotheque, or, or going just to, to get something to eat. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a really connected community. Um, it was awesome to like run into neighbors and people in my apartment that I saw just in like the cafes downstairs. Um, we were also there when the election happened, so that was a very, wow. very big culture shock. Yeah. Um, and it was really interesting to be able to explain it to them and just the whole American election process. Um, but it, yeah, it's a totally different culture, but I, I miss it a lot. Oh, I bet. It's, uh, and it's great to just to get that that perspective and that, that experience as well. How much, you know, and Mary talked about being like, uh, in some ways a psychologist, you know, like you, you walk the line back and forth between the players and the coaches yeah. and settle disputes or, or mm -hmm. you know, cheer people up, pick people up. How much of that do you do and, and what's that like? Yeah, I consider myself a people person, so it's really easy. I mean, like Mary said, we're really close friends with all the girls on the team. So not only are we part of the team, but we're their best friends in a sense so especially like with infinity i live directly with her this year so after she has a tough game she'll come home and we just get to talk it out and it's it's really nice it builds our, it has really developed our friendship but it's also been a really fulfilling job as well all right natalie thanks for joining us thank and you. best of luck the rest of the year thank you that's natalie serluzniak we're back with more right after this Hi, I'm Rocco DiVerti, owner of Enchanted Fireside, Worcester, Massachusetts. Enchanted Fireside is a hearth product store. We sell gas burning, wood burning, and pellet burning stoves, fireplaces, and inserts. We help you with designs, we do the full installations, and we do service should you need it down the road. Our management sales and service staff are certified by the National Fireplace Institute in wood burning products, gas, and pellet burning products. Come and visit us at Enchanted Fireside, 728 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Visit us at the Commercial Fruit and Garden Outlet. Personalized fruit and gift baskets for the holidays or any occasion. 1050 Southbridge Street on the Worcester Auburn Line. Beautiful to look at, delicious to eat. 
after the game, come on down to Flip Flops on Main Street in Holden. Good food, good friends, good times. Flip Flops on Main Street in Holden. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by The Boynton, 117 Highland Street in Worcester. Visit us online at BoyntonRestaurant.com. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by the Texas Roadhouse, Lincoln Plaza in Worcester. Wings Over Worcester, right in the heart of Worcester at 1 Kelly Square. Order online at wingsover.com. The Hilton Garden Inn in Worcester is a proud sponsor of Holy Cross Women's Basketball, conveniently located on Major Taylor Boulevard in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Tavern in the Square, now open in Lakeway Commons on Route 9 in Shrewsbury. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Girton Graphics, Southbridge Street in downtown Worcester. Quinn's Irish Pub on West Boylston Street in Worcester. From appetizers, lunch, dinner, or our weekly specials, our pub selections are a must on your night out. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Qdoba Mexican Eats, Lakeway Commons in Shrewsbury. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we just met your managers, Natalie and Mary. Um, you know, your thoughts on, on them and how important they are to you in this program. Yeah, I just can't say enough uh, about them. Sometimes I hope I don't take them for granted, but, uh, you know, just all the little things behind the scenes and, and uh, uh, you know, getting everything ready and, uh, you know, getting the meals after the games and, and, and making sure uh, during the timeouts I have my board. You know, all the things that people don't know. Managers are a key part. I remember my dad uh, getting his manager from uh, Doherty, Jimmy Mullins, a scholarship at uh, uh, Assumption because Joe O'Brien knew how much a manager right. really meant to a team. So I, I've always preached that. I remember recruiting Mary. I can't believe she's a senior. I recruited her at her brother's uh, graduation party when she was graduating <laughs> from NDA, and she's been with us for four years, and Natalie has been terrific. Uh, uh, just, you know, really uh, can't say enough about the great right. job they do. Could be a small uh, NCAA violation in the recruiting process yeah, there, right, but we'll right. just, yeah. we're going to let that <laughs> slide. It's all unofficial. I didn't um, offer any pizza. Or <laughs> the seventh annual Get Fit with the Crusaders. You have all these Worcester school kids and, and schools right. from Worcester elementary schools coming to the game uh, the Wednesday before Christmas, and it's such a great tradition. You and Phil Giarusso started years ago. Right. Um, and I know it means a lot to you as a, as a city kid and but, someone whose dad uh, taught in the city, city for years. Right. right. I, it's, uh, yeah, went to uh, Downing Street Grammar School was my public school uh, and, and then went to St. Peter's and then Doherty High School. We can't have the high school kids, but it's second through eighth grade. It's always the highlight of our non-conference. Right. We'll have hopefully uh, 2,700 to 3,000. Uh, screaming memes here. Oh, yeah. It'll bring your earplugs if you do come to the game. It is but loud. the best thing was when a teacher said to me, Coach, and, and our girls, uh, I, I think we're four and two in, in the game or five and two, whatever it is. But even after those two losses, they went out and high fived those girls and wished them a Merry Christmas. And, and a teacher said, This is better for a lot of these kids than Christmas Day. Get above 500, be six and five going into the Patriot League. I think, you know, going up to Colgate and then two home games to start our first three games, it would give us some confidence and give us a little momentum boost uh, yeah. going into the uh, second season, the Patriot League. That would be fantastic. This is our last show before Christmas so I know uh, I'll say it and you say it as well no. that uh, we're thankful for all the, no the family we're thankful for our health and uh, and all the support and I know you are thankful for the support of all your your family and friends out there and, and everyone that has supported you through the years yeah it's uh, 33 years you don't get it without that support from your family and friends and, and everyone in Worcester and the sponsors and everyone that uh, you know a blessed and happy and healthy Christmas yeah. season uh, puts things in perspective perspective to you and your family all our viewers out there uh and a uh, happy healthy wind filled uh that's 2018 what that's, that's what we're, we're pushing looking for, for. have a Merry happy Christmas. holiday everyone have a safe and happy new year as well coach and i will see you on the other side in 2018 thanks for watching the holy cross women's basketball show we'll see you again real soon